Hi people, Daniel from Devil and Sons Guitars here and in this week's vlog I'm going to look at 10 of my favourite YouTube channels that I've been watching this year. Not in any particular order and in fact there's a little bit more than 10 because I'm going to sneak a few extra in that are linked to these 10. Um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube this year. I mean, I watch a lot of YouTube every year, but this year during lockdown, my focus has changed a bit and I found some new channels. So I want to introduce them to you. They're, these ones are all guitar related. I watch a lot of YouTube that's not necessarily guitar related, but is making related. So different designers and makers, woodworkers, craftspeople, all of those things actually I find linked back into the way I design and make my guitars. So if you're interested in seeing those top 10 as well, leave um, a comment below and I'll get onto them. In the YouTube comments of this video, I'm going to leave a link to one video from each of these channels that I recommend, one that I've really enjoyed watching. Check that out and then go and check out the rest of their channels and do subscribe to them. Let them know I sent you. So number one, the first one I found at the start of lockdown, I decided I was going to experiment a bit more with my own guitar playing and focus on funk guitar playing. So I did a quick Google search for funk guitarists and I found Wolfpack, great band. And in that great band is Corey Wong. Not only is he, is he a great guitar player with an amazing, unique style, but his YouTube channel is full of him making videos about how he records his songs, the design process behind the song, setting them up, the recording process, the editing process. He has a new series out of what it takes to be a musician, which are kind of comedy videos, but with lots of fact in them as well. And most importantly, he is so enthusiastic and it, oh, it's catching. I listen to his podcast, Wong Notes, Wong Notes is put out by Premier Guitar, so you can find that on their YouTube channel too. The video I picked for you of his is one of his series of On The One videos, where he breaks down how he makes a song. And this one is called Design, featuring Kimbra. It's great. I, I, I love how he's come up with the song as a little sort of doodle that he's recorded on his phone, how he's found the band members that he wanted to record in it. Definitely check this one out. Definitely check out his Wong Notes podcast. So actually, as another link below, I'm going to put in the Premier Guitar link to one of his more recent um, interviews on it. The interviews are with guitarists and there are a range of guitarists. Some of them I actually never heard of, but I really enjoyed listening to them. The second channel I want to advertise to you is JHS Pedals. You'd think that was a channel that just advertises their own pedals, but in fact, Josh, the founder of JHS Pedals, does a lot of kind of history of pedals on, it, on these videos. So he'll look at a particular brand of pedals and give you as much information as you can possibly find on it. He'll find a type of pedal, a type of effect, and give the background on that pedal and the variations that exist on it. There's interviews, they've started doing live stuff every week. It's so fascinating. The video I'm going to link for you below though is one that I think sums up the humour of this channel, the humour of Josh and the people that work with him. It's called Does This Pedal Need a Knob? What a stupid question, but do they? On a lot of my pedals I set them up to a specific place and then I just leave them there. Does it need a knob? Who knows? The third channel I'm going to suggest for you is Crimson Guitars. Now you may well have heard of Crimson Guitars and Ben Crow not just because of their own work that they make. Ben is an, an absolutely great master luthier. He has how-to videos, he shows his incredible builds, he shows that of the students that he trains. But also the reason you might have heard of them is they run the Great Guitar Build-Off, which for me during lockdown was a really exciting thing to follow. Now, I've linked to the video below of the Great Guitar Build-Off finalists. So this year they picked a handful of YouTubers to make a series of videos showing a guitar that they have built that was then auctioned off for money and there was a winner of those builders based on how many views and how many likes they had online. Now what I would say about this is I'm cheating a bit because this would be where I want, can squeeze in two new YouTube channels that I have found that were part of this competition. One of them is Brad Angove, I've never heard of him before, absolutely great how-to videos particularly on spraying and painting your guitar. So if you're making your own guitar check him out. The other one, one of my favourite now, Texas Toast Guitars. And what I like about them is they do live videos as well, which are really hilarious, but they're very factual as well. Definitely check them out. If you're a guitar maker, they are such a great resource, just like Crimson Guitars. So the 
three videos in one for this one is Crimson Guitars, link below, and I also put a link for Brad and Texas Toast. Then my next suggestion is actually something that came out of the Great Guitar Build-Off. This year there were loads of unofficial entries that made their own guitars, made their own videos, and in a lot of cases set up their own YouTube channels. And the one that I've enjoyed the most from that, and I enjoyed a lot of them, is King Bespoke Creations. I think there's a lot of humour in it, and, it, and he's a British guy, and maybe it's the British humour that I connect to, Recently though, his videos have gone off on a tangent to something that I really like, which is other types of woodworking. Go check him out, help him grow his channel, and say hi from me. So when I was looking for a guitarist to sort of inspire my playing at the start of lockdown, I also stumbled across Dovidas. Now, Dovidas is an amazing musician. On his channel, there's lots of him just playing at home. There's lots of him playing with different bands live in different settings. They sort of support him. And all of the people that he seems to have playing with him are as amazingly talented as he is. It's great. But one of the things I like the most about him is when he makes the videos of him playing on his own with his different looping setups and drum machines. So I've linked below a video of him basically busking with this setup when someone asks him to play Purple Rain. So interesting. I'm in absolute awe of musicians that can just pull together a performance of a song without having rehearsed it. So in this case, you'd assume he knows Purple Rain quite well, but in some of the videos, they're live streams and people say, oh, can you play your version of this? And he's never heard the song. He has a quick YouTube search for it, listens to a bit, and then plays his own version great, check out Purple Rain. So now if you follow me on Instagram, you might know that earlier in the year during lockdown, I started buying lots of cheap pedals to experiment with. And the reason for that is I've got an idea in mind for something I want to build, which is gonna happen early next year. I think the videos will be going live in March. And one of the things that happened whilst I was building this was I discovered a channel called 60 Cycle Hum. Now, I'd listened to 60 Cycle Hum's podcast years ago, but one thing I'm loving about the channel, seeing it visually, is the way Ryan, the host, experiments with his pedals and tries them all out and he's playing. There's, there's humour in it, but you can also learn from his videos. The video I picked for you to watch of his, though, is so funny. It's him with his six-year-old son, where his six-year-old son picks different pedals for him to connect together and play through. There's a rotation of different ones. What I love about it is like a lot of the YouTubers that I like, it really shows a person in it. You make a connection watching this video. I mean, I make a connection watching his videos. The thing that initially drew me to him this time was his affordable board series. So his affordable board is a pedal board with cheap pedals on it. A, a range of different types, as you'd expect, kind of overdrives, distortions, delays. But every now and then, he'll make a new video where he does a short shootout of cheap pedals. So it might be all cheap reverbs under $25. It might be, um, here's a new um, range of pedals. I'll try all their pedals out. Oh, their distortion's great. I'm gonna replace the affordable distortion with this one. So entertaining, so great, and it's influenced some of my purchases for my build next year. So do like and subscribe to see that coming. If you haven't seen any videos yet by Davey504, go straight over and check them out now. They are a certain type of video that takes a bit of getting used to, I think. There's a lot of cutting, a lot of editing, a lot of saying, slap like, slap like. But his videos are essentially comedy with great playing in them. And one of the series of videos I've liked of his a lot is where he goes on Fiverr and gets musicians to play different things. Sometimes he challenges them to play an impossible bass line that he's written. Sometimes, like the one I'm linking to below, he sends them a bit of music and asks them to add to it. Maybe it's a drum line, or maybe, as in this case, is to create a whole song from it. He is brilliant. Go check him out. Hit like, leave a comment saying that I sent you there because I want him to come back and slap like for me. So if you watch guitar, so if you watch guitar videos on YouTube, you've definitely come across Anderton's before. They're a big shop and their online presence is fantastic. They review guitars, they review pedals, anything basically that you can buy in their online shop. Their main host, the captain, also does interviews with other guitarists. They're really interesting, but what I like is the sort of banter between the other regular co-hosts. So what I've linked to here, and again, another sort of cheat, is two different YouTube channels that I recommend. So below is a link to an Anderton's video with Danish Pete, the co-host and captain, and the captain demonstrating a looper pedal. 
I, at the start of lockdown, bought a cheap looper pedal and I was watching videos to try and inspire me. I found Danish Pete just hypnotic. His playing in general on the other reviews and things on Anderton's is great, but he's just so good with a looper. Anderton's calling him the Looper King. So I've done a link as well below to his channel. Definitely worth checking out. If you're not interested in loopers, just check out his playing. It's great, definitely worth a look. And my last video, again in no particular order, is Philip McKnight. Now, he was actually one of the contestants in the Crimson Guitar, great guitar build off from this year. But I'd been watching his videos prior to that. And now he's a very knowledgeable guitarist and guitar tech. He has a podcast called Know Your Gear. What I like about it is he sometimes shows videos of tools he uses or techniques he uses that I've picked up. For example, in my vlog last week, I mentioned the micro mesh that I use now to polish frets. That's come from him. The reason I'm putting him here is this year, he made a series of videos that I thought were brilliant. They were about Eddie Van Halen. He's clearly someone that's a big fan and been influenced by Eddie. And he made a series of videos where he converted a cheap guitar into a super strat, inspired by the way Van Halen had done that. Van Halen, of course, so influential on guitarists making changes, their own changes to guitars to suit them. He's set the standard for so many things that are now just common everyday things that you wouldn't really realize they were innovations from a guitarist himself. So Philip McKnight's series of videos that I liked were around him talking about Eddie Van Halen's influence on strats and then him customizing a cheap strat himself over three or four videos. I've linked to the first one below. Such a great emotional video, well worth the watch. Great, well welcome to the end of the video. Um, I'm going to do one more vlog this year where I'm going to focus on the 10 favourite guitars that I have made this year. Thanks to you commissioning me to make them. I also obviously make my videos online that you can find on YouTube, which are how-to videos. The most popular ones at the moment are setting up your guitar, total full setup, a breakdown of how the tunematic bridge works. I just can't get over how many people are watching that. And possibly might end up being my most popular video, it's on the rise at the moment, is how to relic a guitar. Something I can do for you if you want. Uh, shameless plug there. But for now, until my next video, Happy strumming.